Hello, everybody, and once again, welcome to Oaklawn Today. Track announcer Pete Aiello joined by racing analyst Nancy Holthus, welcoming you to the Racing Festival of the South and a Saturday afternoon of world-class action here in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Ten races on the program here this afternoon. We start the Racing Festival this year with the ninth race, the Grade 3 Fantasy. That's right, Tara Permesa looks for her fourth straight win and her second straight stakes victory and also has a stablemate taxable in the mix. She's the odds-on favorite on the morning line, number two in race number nine. Ten races to get to, so without any further ado, the track and weather conditions. We start the Saturday program with beautiful weather conditions for horse racing, a fast track and temperatures in the low 60s here today. We kick it off at six furlongs, made in claimers in at the $12,500 level. We have a field of nine. The race time favorite was nine, Mestizo. Line. Racing at Oakland. Mestizo with a flying beginning. Moves too clear already from He's a Lucky Cat who comes away racing in second. Splitting horses is Denali Cherokee with late night snack down toward the inside. Then comes Hello Newman. Race ready toward the inside. Brits Val is five wide and five better than Sassy Man. Jimmy H is last a long way as they run down the back stretch. With the lead, it's a Mestizo who went the opening quarter mile in 22 seconds flat. Racing in second position now is Denali Cherokee. He's a Lucky Cat three wide. Race ready rides the rail. Stretch of another four to Hello Newman, then Late Night Snack and Brits Val, five more to Jimmy H and Sassy Man. They go to the top of the stretch, and Channing Hill and Mestizo string them out to the top of the lane. They lead it now by five. He's a lucky cat is second. Race ready is third. Denali Cherokee under the whip ride fourth. Five better than Late Night Snack and Hello Newman. Top of the lane, 45 and three for the opening half mile. And the leader is Mestizo, three in front. From second is He's a lucky cat. Denali Cherokee chipping away from third. but. Mestizo's yet to be headed. Mestizo goes to the top of the stretch and by the final 16th of a mile, wrapped up and home free. Mestizo for fun. He's a lucky cat second, third Denali Cherokee, and running on fourth is Sassy Man. Number nine, Mestizo sped to the top and never gave him a chance in today's first race, winning easily under jockey Channing Hill for trainer Ingrid Mason and the owners, Crystal Racing Enterprises. Mestizo sent off as the betting favorite and wins like a favorite should. Second with seven, he's a lucky cat. Four, Denali Cherokee third and five, Sassy Man fourth. Second race at five and one half furlong, scratch the six, Sarah Swingtown and scratch the eight, stand up guy. Race time favorite from the rail, gray area. And they're off. Picture perfect beginning. From the rail, Gray Area sending off for the early lead. From the outside, Nita Alibi and Riley Rocks are also showing speed. Come on, Cat makes it four across the track with Next How Come and racing back in fifth. Then it's a length back, total immersion between horses to the outside, Rough Dan, to the inside, Telegraph Hill, and last of all is Rafine. They take it to the far turn. Riley Rocks has the lead by ahead. Nita Alibi pushing him along while second. Gray Area rain back by Santana to run third. From fourth is Come on, Cat, then Next How Come. Conchari's working working on total immersion, trying to get a response from the back about seven or eight lengths down. And up on his outside goes Rafine as they run to the top of the stretch. Nita Alibi comes off the turn with the lead. Gray area tipping off cover to challenge now second. Next how coming is next. Widest of all total immersion. Still far back and trying to kickstart a rally. Inside the final furlong, Gray area is up for the lead now. Toward the inside, that's Riley Rocks battling on second. Nita Alibi on the outside, total immersion toward the inside. That's next how coming to the wire, Gray area has the lead it will be gray area to win it gray area from riley rock second it's close for third either next how coming or total immersion in 105 and one the favorite gets up to win it off a good trip in today's second race one gray area victorious for back-to-back -back wins owned by jackie rojas trained by chris hartman handled today by ricardo santana jr Number 10, Riley Rocks was second in front of five. Next, how come in third? Four total immersion was just even paced and ended up fourth. The early double today worth $22 and change. Today's third race at six furlongs made in claimers in for a $25,000 price tag. There was no clear cut favorite here. Numbers one, three, and five took the play. And they're off. 
Moon Silk was away well, moving out for the year to lead. Awesome Champ comes away in the top flight, and here's the Asmussen trainee. What a shiner on to take over. It's what a shiner in front from Awesome Champ, who races in second, up on the outside, and racing in third now goes Moon Silk. Go Bo Go is wide through the backstretch run, but races a joint fourth with Arch Adversary alongside. They're followed by Doodle Hopper. Second last early is Hard Bark, and far, far back to the trailer Blood and Bones. They went 22 and 3 for the opening quarter, and they swing into the far turn. On top. The leader, what a shiner, three parts of a length. Moon Silk comes to call second. Go, Bo, go is a three wide third. Awesome Champ is next. Arch Adversary is all dressed up with no place to go. Followed by Doodle Hopper, a stretch of five to Blood and Bones. He is actually tacking on, and he went by Hard Bark at the back. There's a quarter of a mile left to go. Still many chances. What a shiner turns first with the lead. The rail just opened for Awesome Champ and Arch Adversary. They come after the leader. Doodle Hopper swung widest of all. Through the final furlong, here comes Glenn Corbett on Arch Adversary. Up the inside of What a Shiner. These two to settle the score. Arch Adversary has momentum. What a Shiner has the lead. What a Shiner. Arch Adversary, a final surge on the inside. Nip and tuck. It's a photo finish. Maybe What a Shiner outside from Arch Adversary in 111 flat. Seven, what a shiner at nine to two in the wagering gets the victory for owner Robert Bruce and trainer Steve Asmussen, Ricardo Santana Jr. for back-to-back -back riding victories. Number one, Arch Adversary was second in front of two, awesome champ third. Eight, Moon Silk completes your super. Don't go anywhere. More great racing action from Oaklawn right after this. Want to bet? Even when you're not at the track? Now our Kansans can watch and wager online from anywhere. Introducing Oaklawn Anywhere. Visit the Oaklawn Anywhere booth to join and fund your account with cash at the window or by direct deposit. Get a $100 bonus for signing up. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com for details. Oaklawn Anywhere, now everywhere for Arkansas residents. Bathhouse Row. Oaklawn Racing, Lake Hamilton. That's just part of the history made in Hot Springs years ago. But your first big win, enjoying a meal underneath the stars, or just appreciating the view from hiking trails or botanical gardens, that's the kind of history made in Hot Springs every day. So come make yours. Visit hotsprings.org today. If you like racing and you like gaming, we've got a place in the Winner's Circle for you. Oaklawn's Winner's Circle Player Rewards Club earns you points toward free play, prizes, and food discounts. And a $10 free play coupon with your membership. Sign up at the Winner's Circle desk in the bigger and better Oaklawn Gaming. And while you're there, check out all the new games like live and video blackjack, poker, and a high limits area. Oaklawn, Arkansas's favorite place to play. I firmly believe that any man's finest hour, the greatest fulfillment of all that he holds dear, is that moment when he has worked his heart out in a good cause and lies exhausted on the field of battle, victorious. At West Rock Coffee, we celebrate the determination and spirit of the people of Rwanda who help us make the finest coffee in the world. Turn to the fourth race at six furlongs. Claimers at the $10,000 level. John Court rides one tank on the rocks. It's a field of nine, and the race time favorite was the one tank on the rocks. Kinetic still a bit ornery. Now they're off. From the outside, that's Royally Divine who gets the first call. Jennings Girls showing speed and riding the rail. Tank on the Rocks is quickly up to challenge. Tank on the Rocks and John Court put ahead in front. Jennings Girls is back racing in second three, better than Royally Divine, who's now third. Then to the outside goes Kinetic with Arctic Vortex and Tis Wonderful Creek. Followed by Big Commission, third last. Second last is Hanslow, and You Call Me Alex is the trailer. They passed the half mile pole. They whistled a quarter, 21 and three. Very fast for this level as they run 
coming into the far turn. Tank on the rocks takes no prisoners, but Jennings Girl will not let him get a breather. These are two of open three. Arctic Vortex is looming large under Delacruz, tacking on well from third. Two better than Royally Divine. Then comes the inside running Tis Wonderful Creek. Big Commission has had pace to chase, but he's not anywhere involved as they turn for home. Arctic Vortex sweeping up on the outside, trying to get to the inside running Tank on the rocks. Royally Divine is down the outside. Big Commission rolls late through the final furlong. Arctic Vortex on a two-length lead. Royally Divine chipping away on the outside second. Back third is Tis Wonderful Creek. Royally Divine running at Arctic Vortex. Hand slow late on the scene. Arctic Vortex holding sway. Arctic Vortex wins. Royally Divine second. Third hand slow and 111 and four. Super fast pace, set it up for a horse from off the speed and got first run, and that horse was number six, Arctic Vortex, who parlays a good trip to victory off at 9-1 to one in the wagering, owned by Mike Waters, trained by Hall of Famer Jack Van Berg. Walter De La Cruz was on board for the winning ride. Number eight, Royally Divine, ran well to be second in front of seven, Hanslow third, and four, Tis Wonderful Creek, completes a super worth more than $7,000 for a $1 play. Today's fifth race run at one mile, so the first finish line was in use. It's, it's a field of nine. These are starter allowance horses, and the off-time choice was number one, Gold's Venice. The line. And they're off. Black Sherry was off slowly. From the inside, Gold's Venice begins the best. From between horses, Misty Journey comes away with speed. Exploded Moonshine comes away in the top flight, and so does Trick My Ride in the run to the first turn. Very rank and on heels is Box Office Appeal. She's now shuffled back a couple spots. Also rank is Miss Good Thing, as the pace appears very controlled. Earl's Girl is second last, and after making a mess of the beginning, the trailer is Black Sherry. They run around the first turn, and Gold's Venice leads, but only narrowly. The gray Miss Energy is now moved up to be second from Misty Journey. Journey in third, Exploded Moonshine is now fourth. Then to the outside goes Trick My Ride alongside Miss Good Thing. Settling in is Box Office Appeal third last. Second last is Earl's Girl. And Black Sherry will have to pass them all and do it in less than five furlongs as this is a first finish line race. So as they go to the half mile pole, Gold's Venice is the boss. 47 and two, so the second quarter faster than the first, but Gold's Venice stretches the speed to a length and a half. Second is Misty Journey. From third now, Mrs. Energy. Exploded Moonshine is now moved up to take third from fifth trick my ride then miss good thing back sherry is past two they are box office appeal and now the back marker is earl's girl they run to the top of the stretch gold's venice continues to shoulder the load misty journey is there second five to trick my ride third then miss good thing exploded moonshine and miss energy have called it an afternoon three quarters 111 and four they're into the short stretch franco goes to work on gold's venice on the outside one more time is misty journey misty journey getting to gold's venice misty Journey and Gold's Venice shoulder to shoulder. Gold's Venice digging. Misty Journey surging. It's going to be close. It's going to be a photo finish. Misty Journey on the outside might have had the momentum at Gold's Venice and 139 flat. Tough to tell from this vantage point. Gold's Venice did everything she could, but hold off number six, Misty Journey, who nails her in the final jump to get the victory for trainer Chris Richard and owner Chris Odom. Alex Berzer on board for the winning ride. One, Gold's Venice did everything she could. She ended up second from nine, Trick My Ride third. Five, Miss Good Thing finished fourth. The early pick four today worth more than $825 for a 50-cent play. Don't go anywhere. More great racing action from Oaklawn right after this. Appreciate it, man. I'm a big fan. Me too. This one goes out to a couple friends of mine. When cold refreshment calls, Coors Light answers. Frost Brewed Coors Light, the world's most refreshing beer. The beat goes on. Oh, here's the line. Trace Creek proves best. Over six million dollars in earnings for registered Arkansas breads. Hit the pack and penny. Rock, Rock City Roadhog. We beat Storm Man. Photo finish. Five $100,000 stakes at Oaklawn. Weast Hill making short work of the competition. $5,000 bonus if you're an Arkansas bred and you win an open company at Oaklawn in 2016. See my Caroline holds on narrowly. 
Cedar Run Farm on 60 acres and 17 miles from Oaklawn Park offers a 10-stall barn, grassy paddocks, day pens, and a partially covered six-craft walker for exercising and rehab. Moonshine Mullen is a first-year registered Arkansas stallion with earnings of over $1 million. Moonshine Mullen did it! And a huge upset of the Stephen Foster! Black type winner in the U.S. and Canada with wins over the dirt, turf, and synthetic now standing at Lake Hamilton Equine and registered on True Knicks. Hi, I'm Terry Wallace, and here is tomorrow's Sentinel record pick of the day. Race number six on the card brings out Arkansas Bred Maidens at six furlongs. They're in for a price tag of $20,000. Scratch the four surprise suspects. Scratch the ten, Leslie's boy. Rider change on nine, Plastic Pearl to Giovanni Franco. Race time favorite from the barn of Bill Martin, number three, run for Stormy. And they're off. From the inside, the favorite run for Stormy was away the best and moves out to try to clear the field early. Moving to be second is Hot-Blooded Song. Vested Creek's away in the top flight, so too is Smoke Storm, whereas Lewis is down toward the inside. Then Plastic Pearl out in the center, a length and a half in front of Frontier out there. Lightbound bid is next. Racing second last is keeping up with the Jones, and Jordy Jack Splash is last of all with half a mile to go. Run for Stormy in a familiar role, leading the way into the far turn from Hot-Blooded Song second. Vested Creek a three-wide third but on the improve for Santana a stretch of five to smoke storm trying to get around where's Lewis another two and a half lengths back to the team a frontier out there in plastic pearl the rest will have to get a move on as there's five sixteenths to go they went the opening quarter in 22 and one they run to the top of the stretch run for stormy has been hounded every step but he's game as always turns first with the lead three wide vested creek hot blooded song between horses where's Lewis is back forth with store smoke storm through the final furlong run for stormy tenacious up top vested Creek trying to launch at him from the outside. Vested Creek has momentum at Run for Stormy. These two, Run for Stormy refuses to yield. Vested Creek did his best, but Run for Stormy had more. Run for Stormy and Dela Cruz to win it. Vested Creek second, Hot Blooded Song third. Plastic Pearl was fourth in 112 and two. Run for Stormy has really dug in his last couple of races and failed to get the job done. But today, he has no challenges as he gets the victory under jockey Walter Dela Cruz for trainer Bill Martin and owner Lynetta Haas. Second was six, Vested Creek in front of five, hot blooded song. He hung around to be third. Seventh race to kickstart the late pick four at one mile. Scratch the five, Charlie again. Luis Quinones rides two, black tie and tails. John Cord on four, patriotic American. It's a field of eight, race time favorite six. It's all up to you. And they're off. Level beginning. From the center, Patriotic American wins the break. Mupping up between horses as it's all up to you. Down to the inside, black tie and tail showing speed. Three across the track. Cuzzy's Western will race in fourth and trying to drop over in front of Mr. Ticker Talker. Then at the rail, it's Gallant Steed. Racing second last is Sakima and two to the trailer, Chaz's Legacy. Three across the track as they run around the first turn. From between them, it's Patriotic American. From the inside, black tie and tails. And from the outside, it's all up to you. And it's all up to you has been reined back by Channing Hill to try to race off the flank of the leaders. From fourth is the gray, Mr. Ticker Talker. Then it's a length and a half. Moving from fifth is Cuz He's Western. Gallant Steed is next, followed by Sakima. And trailing is Chaz's Legacy. 23 flat for the opening quarter speed. Down the back stretch they go. They start to tighten up. Black tie and tails, and Kenona is lead it by a neck. Patriotic American is second. It's all up to you third. Mr. Ticker Tucker fourth. Gallant Steed tries an inside probe from fifth. Then Cuzzy's Western on hold is Sakima only two and a half behind. And Chaz's legacy has caught the field. This turns into a 5 16 dash for the wire. And the leader, black tie and tails by a neck. Three wide, it's all up to you. Patriotic American still in the fight between horses. Cuzzy's Western is four wide. Sakima will be five wide. Mr. Ticker Talker not been given the go-ahead by Franco because he has no place to go. Running on from the back is Chaz's Legacy and Gallant Steed and they line up and swarm in. Three quarters, 113 and 2 they They're into the stretch. Patriotic American set down by John Corton has the lead. It's all up to you to the attack. Black Tie and Tails is next. Down the outside, Sakima. Patriotic American trying to get home. Sakima's over the top. Sakima's in time. It's all up to you second. Then it's close for third. Maybe Patriotic American over Chaz's Legacy. Legacy and 139 and 1. Exciting stretch run in race number seven, and it was nine, Sakima, who came over the top to get the victory under Ramon Vasquez for owner Harry Rosenblum and trainer Ron Moquette. Second was six, it's all up to you. In front of four, Patriotic American third, three, Chaz's Legacy finished fourth. 
Don't go anywhere. More great racing action from Oaklawn right after this. Silk's Bar & Grill inside Oaklawn Gaming is Hot Springs' newest destination for great food, drink, and entertainment. Open for lunch and dinner plus a late night bar menu, Silk's was voted Arkansas Times Best New Bar in Arkansas. Silk's features free live music every Friday and Saturday night, and with more than 30 big screen TVs, it's the perfect place to catch your favorite game. Be sure to try the incredible Silk's Margarita, made with Patron, and experience our signature Silk's Burger. Oaklawn, Arkansas's favorite place to play. Welcome to the atrium at Serenity Point, where your very own lakefront property awaits you. We have gourmet chef-prepared meals, stunning waterfront views, private apartments, and an active lifestyle where our residents enjoy social hour, daily exercise classes, an indoor saltwater pool and spa, summer boating, movies in our theater, and many more exciting activities. We offer luxury senior living options with independent living, assisted living, and memory care. Call today to start living your retirement dream. Bathhouse Row, Oaklawn Racing, Lake Hamilton. That's just part of the history made in Hot Springs years ago. But your first big win, enjoying a meal underneath the stars, or just appreciating the view from hiking trails or botanical gardens. That's the kind of history made in Hot Springs every day. So come make yours. Visit hotsprings.org today. Want to bet? Even when you're not at the track? Now our Kansans can watch and wager online from anywhere. Introducing Oaklawn Anywhere. Visit the Oaklawn Anywhere booth to join and fund your account with cash at the window or by direct deposit. Get a $100 bonus for signing up. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com for details. Oaklawn Anywhere, now everywhere for Arkansas residents. Today's eighth race starts the late pick three. Phillies take center stage. They race six furlongs for a purse of $79,000. These are allowance horses. Scratch number 11, Royal Story. So it's a field of 10. The race time favorites were seven, Divine Elegance, and eight, Smitty's Cougar. But the gate crew here at Oaklawn Park continues to make their bid for employees of the meet. They didn't let her get away. Ready again. They're off. From the outside, that's the Louisiana Invader, Smitty's Cougar, heading off for the early lead. DRC's Pretty Sky is showing speed. Strawberry Bomb comes away in the top flight, and Just the Lady makes it four across the track. Then from behind the speed goes Sky O Blue in fifth. It's a length back to Don't Boss Me. From between horses, My Woman from Tokyo. Then comes Tessa's Treat. Divine Elegance is second last, and the trailer here is One True Kiss. Opening quarter, whistled, 21 and three. They move into the far turn now, and Just the Lady holds firm on the inside. Smitty's Cougars had a rough run of it in her Hot Springs debut. She's three wide. Strawberry Bomb between horses. DRC's Pretty Sky off the speed fourth, beginning to improve a bit now, followed by Don't Boss Me, then Sky O Blue. Three wide, Tessa's Treat. My Woman from Tokyo on the inside. Divine Elegance will have to get a move on. She's only in front of one, and that's one true kiss as they reach the top of the stretch. Smitty's Cougar on the outside. Just the Lady on the inside. Side, and just the lady has something in reserve after a 45 and one half mile. That's all for Smitty's Cougar. Here's one true kiss from far back. Asmussen's going to be one, two. Which one will it be? One true kiss is rolling under Rocco. One true kiss has got her stable mate. One true kiss going away. Just the lady second. DRC's Pretty Sky third. And fourth, Divine Elegance in 111 flat. Very fast early pace, set it up for a horse from off the speed, and that was three, one true kiss, who closes to spring the 13 to one upset under jockey Joe Rocco Jr. Steve Asmussen, the winning trainer, the winning owners, Kirk and Judy Robeson. Steve Asmussen runs one, two with two, just a lady second, completing a nice exacta, six DRC's Pretty Sky and Divine Elegance complete the field. The ninth and feature race, the 44th running of the Grade 3 Fantasy, $400,000 up for grabs here. A field of six, Joe Rocco Jr. picks up the call on number one taxable. All eyes on two, Tara Promessa. She's the heavy-hitting two-to-five favorite. And they're off in the 44th Fantasy. 
It was a good start for Cosmic Evolution, who reaches out to take the early lead from the heavy hitter, Terra Promessa, who races in second. Florida Bird moves between horses and up on the outside, ready to confess. It's a stretch of five to Taxable and two more to Impasse. They run around the first turn, chasing Cosmic Evolution, who has the lead. Florida Bird is tugging from between horses and ready to confess is three wide. A beautiful strip here for the favorite, Terra Promessa. She's behind the embattled pace setters on hold, a bit keen while fourth. Stretch of five to Taxable and impasse on her outside. 23 and two for the opening quarter speed. Down the back stretch they go. Ready to confess, lets out a notch, deleted a half a length. Cosmic Evolution is second. Florida Bird is a joint third as Terra Promessa looms large. She's moved into third while continuing to tug on Santana, two and a half lengths in front of the team at the back, taxable and impasse. They move to the half mile pole in the 44th fantasy and the leader is still ready to confess after a half mile and 46 and four. That's a big time second quarter as they swing into the far turn. Terra Promessa looms large on the outside of ready to confess. From third, Cosmic Evolution, then taxable. That's all for Florida Bird and impasse tries to stoke the fire as they run around the far turn. Terra Promessa is still very confidently handled here. Santana's not let out the brakes and she leads at three parts of a length. Ready to confess is trying to stay with her second. Taxable is third with a quarter of a mile to go. They're at the top of the stretch. Terra Promessa shaken up for the drive on a two length lead. Taxable issues the challenge on the outside second. Asmussen is one two. Final furlong. Terra Promessa's all out. Taxable runs at her from second. Ready to confess third. Here's Taxable at Terra Promessa. Terra Promessa digging in. Taxable right alongside these two. It's Terra Promessa hanging on. She's headed to the promised land for a date with a musical bird in 145 flat. Well, Tara Promessa got the job done, but it certainly took more than anyone else anticipated. She prevails narrowly to beat her stablemate Taxable in today's feature race. Tara Promessa is owned by Stone Street Stables and is trained by Steve Asmussen. Ricardo Santana Jr. held sway for the winning ride. Second was one taxable in front of number six, ready to confess third. Three, Cosmic Evolution finished fourth. It's on to Louisville for the top two. The tenth and final race today brings out a field of maidens racing six furlongs for a $76,000 purse. We have a 11-horse field with a rider change on two jukebox to jockey Joe Rocco Jr. Race time favorite number 10, Grand Candy. And runners away. The favorite, Grand Candy, bounces away very well. Moving up from down toward the inside is Mukubla, and Mukubla now moves up to take the lead. Heat Road moves between horses to be second. Grand Candy won the start, but settles down fourth. Discreetly Firm moves up down toward the inside. Then congrats given between horses. Length and a half to setting sail out wide on the course goes after hours. It's a stretch of another two and a half lengths to still roll in sevens. Looking at Hershey and Cold of Silence are next, and out the back early, the trailer is Jukebox. They won an opening quarter in 22 and one around the far turn they go. It's Double T and Mukabwa leading the field by a half a length. Racing second is Heat Road Grand Candy back into the race from third. Up and on the outside is After Hours into fourth. Moving inside fifth is Congrats Given. Then it's a stretch of two to Setting Sail as they run to the top of the stretch. The bright pink colors of Mukabwa turn first with the lead. Grand Candy on the three wide side. Four wide is After Hours with three sixteenths to go. Thompson shakes Mukabwa up for the drive. Has something in reserve and kicks away by two. From between them Grand Candy still trying well second. After Hours is next, then Heat Road. In deep stretch, sharp in victory. The son of Quality Road, Mukabla, punches out to win it by two. Second, Grand Candy. Third, After Hours. And fourth was Heat Road in 110 and 1. Upset winner of race number 10 in impressive fashion was number three, Mukabla, under jockey Harry Thompson for trainer Darren Miller and owner Silverton Hill, LLC. Number 10, Grand Candy, ran well to be second in front of 11 after hours, who also ran well to be third. Fourth was five, Heat Road. Well, that wraps up the Saturday program from Oaklawn Park, but join us again tomorrow as we continue with the Racing Festival of the South. Sprinters take center stage and the grade three count fleet. The top contenders include Subtle Indian, WB Smudge, and Allsbid, a very solid group of sprinters. Subtle Indian will take all the early speed in the race, and Osvid will try to track him down. You'll make sure you'll want to join us for that. It's tomorrow's feature race. First post time is 1.30. We thank you for joining us here at Oaklawn Park today. We hope you enjoyed your time with us, and we'll see you again soon. Good night.